Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, Mr. Lopez. Good evening, how are you? Ah, very well, thanks for asking. Good. What about you? Yeah, good, good. Uh, oh, that's thank great, you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, do you have a good day? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, great, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Just let yeah. Me... Okay, thank you, Giovanni. How are you? Hi, Oscar, how are you? Oscar, how are you? Maybe he can able to listen. Let me just put it a little bit over here. Wendy, how are you? Hello. Hello, Chef. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. Fantastic. Nice to see you. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, Ducky. Almost there. How many participants? So we are ah, we are uh seven so far. And uh you see that I Ah, good evening, Oscar. How are you? Good to see, good to see you. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Julio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How, How are you today? I'm good, teacher. Okay, great. Fantastic. Are you ready for a new class? I am. Yes, I am. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's that's excellent. Excellent. So Giovanni, or are you ready to talk to Giovanni? Are you ready to talk to uh, Jose, Hector, and um, oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know, uh, Oscar Alexander. Thank you. I hope that you can join the class. Okay, uh, who's connecting? Ah, Marlene Elizabeth, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, teacher. How was your day today? Um, fine. Okay. Really busy with my children. Oh, really? Are you a teacher or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> would you, would, would, Just would you take care of my children oh uh, okay. yes you don't kids yes okay but i'm glad that they give you some time to be here so that's uh, that's that's really 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 nice okay so yeah keeps always uh keeps uh always give uh keep uh, adults busy a lot of work to do <laughs> so so uh, meanwhile, we start the class, guys. Uh, what did we study yesterday? What was the topic from yesterday? What topic? The topic, uh, the topic was adjectives with past participles. Ah, yes, with past participles. Okay, so. Um, uh, uh, and uh, okay, adjective with participles, and uh, we were discussing. We were discussing problems and solutions, more or less, right? Yes, more or less. Okay, thank you, thank you, Hector, for your participation. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, someone is uh, answering over here. Uh, I got a message. Uh, actually, I enjoy. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. You know, yesterday I was more calm down than the day before. <laughs> I was anxious, and I, I and everybody gets like that, to be honest. So, okay, guys. Today, um, uh, yesterday we finished. We did uh, unit one, which is the, the required section one. So we covered the topics. Have you worked on the platform, guys? Have you already worked over there? Uh, 
uh, more or less? Yes, teacher. Okay. I, if, I just I just finished the uh, the lesson two one and uh, two. Okay, and how was it? Just general information. Don't be specific. Uh, do you feel it like it was hard? It was easy. Um, uh, how was it? In a general uh, way. A little difficult, but but as for I ask for some help. Yeah. To uh, in the chat. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. There is always a video that you can watch it before you go on the exercise. Okay. Please uh, watch the video. So that's really important. That's the videos uh, for that if you have any doubts or you have anything that are, so uh, check the videos. Okay. Uh, okay. Please, uh -huh. tell me, tell me, Julio. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I, I was, I just watched it, uh, the videos and it was uh, easy to, to solve the, all the exercises. Uh, the, the exercises, good. Thank you very much, Julio. Well done, very yeah. well done. And I encourage you to continue on. Does anybody else uh, have a comment about it? Yeah, teacher, there are some scrambles for the, for the exercise. Oh. So you mean you had to put the sentences in the correct word and the correct order? Yeah, teacher is a little bit difficult when we have a do. Uh, oh, okay. You that's why you have a doubt. Okay, maybe we will uh, uh, do a little bit more exercise. Well, we'll do exercises about putting uh, sentences in in order. So I'll get I'll get a prepared during the week uh, during the weekend for the next followings, and we can practice also and scrambling. That's called an scrambling uh, and a scrambling uh, words or or sentences. And that's uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Uh, uh, Hector, thank you very much for your comment. One more, uh, one last comment. Okay, if it is not, oh, I have, I have something on the, on the, on the child as well. Let me see. Okay, so thank you for letting me know, Francisco. And um, uh, yes, okay. And uh, guys, so I was uh, required, uh, please cameras on. It's really important that I that I mentioned the first day, uh, but I'm going to do it again. So it's the, even though we don't line, so you're at the, at the end of the of the line. So if we have cameras on, it, the the talking will be more familiar. Like I was talking to Hector, to Giovanni, to Jose to Marlene, to Julio, and Oscar. So it's it's really important, please, okay, that you uh, have your cameras on. Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to um, uh, to start a new topic uh, in order to be on right on time. Uh, uh, right on time, maybe I did this one. Uh, to be right on time with the chronogram or the things that uh, we need to cover, okay? Okay, do you have a good pen and a good uh, notebook or something in order to write with, to take notes? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. so let's get started. Okay, today is, uh, what day is today? Wednesday. 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 October 4th, 2000. Okay, October, uh, October 4th, 2023. Okay. What's the unit? What's the unit? What is the unit? The world we live. The world we live. Uh, we live. And where do we live? What is the word that we live when? Dangerous. Okay. So another another possible answer. Uh, 
we live uh, it's really difficult for many people when we uh, pass on um power power powerless uh -huh. what is the powerless ah uh, the 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 problems of the powerless power power powerless oh the Another people, uh -huh. the, the rich of the rich of people, and the another poor. Oh. Uh, poor, yeah. Ah, okay, good, excellent. So, does uh, does uh, the world that we live on have any problems, or everything is perfect? Uh, 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 Carla Rene, what do you think about it? We have some problems, for example, the garbage in the street. Ah, you're very familiar. Yes, we have problems. We have, uh, that will be economical problem, political problem, or environmental problem. Envir environmental problems. That so, will be environmental problems. Yes, we're not going. Air pollution, to... teacher. <laughs> air pollution, Marlene Elizabeth. Yes, it's a lot. And what do you know that this problem? Uh, how is this problem air pollution in El Salvador? Is a is a really bad? It's not a problem. The Marlene said that uh, yes, it's it's a problem. So uh, how is in El Salvador? It's really bad, or it's okay right now. We have issues, it's but uh, really bad, teacher. It's really bad. Yes, it's really bad. Do you think that we can solve these kind of problems? It's so difficult because we have a lot of cars. Uh huh. And, uh, for example, with the buses, uh, with are, buses. Really, are really old and. Is because they make a lot of, how do you say, humo, smoke? Yeah, smoke, yes, a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, someone else. Uh, so uh, we have air pollution. What's another? Ocean pollution. Uh, ocean uh, water pollution. Yes, thank you, Sophia Elisa. Thank you very much. So we have air pollution, water pollution, ocean, rivers, lakes, and everything. And what else? What will Let's be then? We'll say when people throw garbage on. Yes, people uh, throw garbage everywhere. So. Yeah, and the other one is soil pollution. Okay, soil is the 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 land, the, per se, like that. So yes, people th uh, think a lot of garbage over there. So we are basically talking about. I don't. Let me. Oh, there you go. So we're talking about uh, the snapshot. And uh, what is the snapshot? Um, and uh, name what? Waste not want not some alarming facts. Is that the, the things that you say it is alarming? The the problems that we have with the the environment? It's yes, alarming. Sure. Yes, they are alarming yes. facts. Yes, uh, they are every day uh, people uh, goes to the hospital. Uh, to to have a a, a check a, a check with a doctor with uh, with lumps uh problems exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and, mm -hmm. yes tell me tell me tell me and, yeah. and uh the cancer uh the lump cancer it's uh it's a uh, it's right uh, it's getting up mm -hmm. Every, every year yes and, uh it it costs too much to the to the government to mm. to attend to a lot of expenses over there right expense. mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, thank you very much. Good participation. Okay, so the uh, and this basically in this class we're discussing, you know, some uh, what is the discussion about according to the learning objective. Sarah Elizabeth, what is the uh, learning objective? Well, one. Yes. Discuss uh, environmental problems. Yes, discuss environment problems. And you're doing very good, guys. And remember that that's the way producing the language. You participate through the your mic, and also you participate through your chat. OK, so that's the thing over there. And what is environmental? Please write it on the chat. What is it? No, I'm sorry. I, I miss environment. Environment. Uh -huh. What is environment? Write it on the chat, guys. Uh, I got uh, one. Ah, yes. But give me examples. If you cannot give you, if you cannot give me a definition, a sort of definition, give me examples about it. And what is environment? It's, it is all we have around us, uh, the trees, the ocean, the air, the, the flowers. <laughs> ah, okay, good, great, fantastic. Yes, okay. Oh, I've got the many rivers, all the things that we need to live, oceans, uh, the natural world. Yes, exactly. So that's, that's a sort of um, an, uh, meaning of environment. Let's see, I got something. Okay, so what, these are some words for environment. Okay, for example, Examples that I have over there? Land, water, air. Air. And which? Animals, uh -huh. land. Yeah. And people. Uh -huh. And which uh, people, animals, and plants live? Like uh, someone said, everything that is around us. Yes, that's a good definition. And when you say, uh, when you say everything around us come to our minds, air, water, land, uh, people, animals, plants, and everything. So good, excellent. And I understand that uh, you go to your job, you had to move from one place to another. And in the child, let me see the, the first question that I have, rivers, lakes, ele uh, the elements of the nature. Good, excellent, excellent job. Now, write this on the chat. How much trash do you see on the way home today? Or on the way to your job, on the way to the store, on the way to the supermarket, or on the way to the marketplace, like Mercado Central, that's the marketplace. So how much trash do you see on the way, wherever you go, you went? It's not wherever you go, you went, because we are talking about all natural resources in the water. Ah, yes. Okay. I don't read it aloud some words because I want uh, I want more of you uh, write something. And you may be right the same idea, but uh, uh, you can. Uh... Okay. Do you see a lot of trash? And uh, what kind of trash do you say? Do you see? Someone says, someone says plastic bags. What other kind of trash do you see? Yes, bottles of water or soda. A lot of cans, there is a lot of plastic garbage on the streets. Exactly. Yes, and, and 
and in fact, uh, one of these days, I was uh, I was walking uh, near the place where I uh, uh, live, and I was and I was telling my wife, you know, there are a lot of plastic uh, bottles over there on the streets. I mean, uh, I, a lot of a lot. There are tons of water plastic. Okay, guys. Ah, I got out of my way. Uh huh. Let me read this one. Someone says, on my way to work, I see considerable amount of garbage. Despite the congressmen have created law punishing that, I think the law is not being applied. Yes. Okay, good. Maybe yes, but also consider that. Uh, can we do something about it? We, me, as the teacher, as Mr. Lopez, as Fidencio, can we do something about it? Uh, open mic and participate. Or just, just, um, yes. I, just to be conscious. Um, I think, in my opinion, uh, yes. people need to be uh, more uh, conscious about uh, uh, caring our uh, country. You know, I know that uh, as 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 I told you that uh, the congressman just created laws that uh, punish yeah. people that throw garbage on outdoor. But I think that if uh, no one is uh, watching, watching, uh, watching you, I think that the law is, is going to be without uh, uh, no exactly. purpose at all. Exactly. It's just a matter of being conscious and uh, respect uh, the environment. Yes, but uh, as people, as some experts say, it's also in our hands. Okay, guys, good. You know, um, it, it's really nice to talk to you guys um yeah, on the streets uh, everywhere right so uh snapshot is cause environmental problem and what do you see on the picture over there someone uh sophia elizabeth what do you see on the picture i see shoes a pair of shoes a pair of shoes what else Boots. 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 Oh, yes. And maybe it's, uh, it's uh, the closest that we use, right? <laughs> I don't have a month of uh, uh, shoes over there, but uh, anyway. Yeah, thank you, Sophie. And uh, okay. And um, so it's uh, it's basically clothes that, that we have over there. Yeah, because we get rid of a lot of cloth, the cloth that we don't use anymore. Well, now maybe in this country. And well, you already said, uh, you already answered this question, right? So I guess we're not going to, we already discussed environmental problem does El Salvador have? What does El Salvador have? Just mention. Romeo, you want to say something? Really? Many trash on the street, really. Uh, the uh -huh. pollution with the air. Yes. Um, really. Yes. Thank you very much. Great participation. Yes. The have, yes. Teacher, we have the problem with the rivers. The rivers as well. Uh, yes. Yes. I, uh, maybe uh, not that old, but uh, I remember the rivers back in the 70s, at the beginning of the 70s, they were beautiful. Rio yes. Lempa, it was mm -hmm. beautiful. It was beautiful. I remember. I, in fact, I grew. I grew up uh, by the shores of Rio Lempa back there in Chalatenango, and it was beautiful. It was clean. It was everything. Well, I guess we, <laughs> if we start discussing like that, we, we we're going to end it like that. Okay, but, but there is, yes. Uh, uh, there's there's another uh, problem that no uh, nobody talks about it uh, and it is uh, noises uh, the noise um, and it it contributes to the environment uh, yeah. and nobody talks about it yeah it, it's a it's a normal that uh, somebody uh, how do you say it? Tocan a pitar. 
Yes, uh, um, the the horn, uh, the horn, uh, uh -huh. horn the, in the core, something like that. I I I remember a minute ago the the term. Yes, in fact, a uh, long time ago in the hospitals there was a uh, uh, keep uh, silence, and there was a, a horn over there. If I'm not mistaken, the the name of the of the this pito. Yes, exactly. Also, That's teacher. Yes, also go ahead. teacher, the fireworks on December. It's very, I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Now, if we start talking about those environmental, which is good because you are using the language. Okay. So um, we are using, and we need, that's why we need to go on the breakout room for everybody to give us uh, the opportunity to talk. Um, so this is a problem in back in the United States on everything, but uh, you, you know, so look at the sentences over there. Just look at it. It says, in his or her lifetime, the average of American born in the 1990s and the 1990s decade will. Well, this is this survey. This is called a survey. Uh, a survey. So look at the first one. What do you think of the information over there? Could you write it in the chat, please? What do you think? Is terrible? Is what you expected, or do you uh, you kn knew something about it? Uh, what do you think, teacher? I, I think that we don't know about the about this information. Information. But I think that is our fault because yes. about a cost our custom. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh huh. Yes, maybe it's not our custom like this, and especially uh, countries like. Well, let me tell you that uh, I don't know if you know that in the United States, for example, December and uh, New Year's Eve, the stores uh, lose a lot of money because people get uh, closed, and after the party, <laughs> they go and return and saying that it was not good. It doesn't fit very well. That the person that uh, they gave it uh, uh, didn't fit, and they return it. But it's not a work custom over here. So, for example, like me and I guess everybody use the clothes until they are not good anymore. So, so yes, uh, we don't know much things about it over here. Okay, but let's start on the on the topic over there. Okay, the, the, the forms that we are going to study right now. Okay, uh, le, I got a comment over here. L let me tell you that I'm looking at the comments, okay? So what looks terrible at the customs meetings are again, giant nervous, I guess nowadays is worse. Yes, in fact, I don't know if you have seen, but uh, I cannot stop much on this one, but uh, in countries like India, there are cities covered with lots of ton of clothes, like in Brazil, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, what is the learning objective over there, guys? Identify environmental problems that use present continuous and present perfect passive tense, uh, tense mm -hmm. and uh, preposition of cause, of cause in context. Oh, uh, of course and countess. I'm missing the E, I guess. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you remember the present continuous? And also, are you missing the S on the continuous? Sorry mm -hmm. about it. I will uh, be careful not to do that. Uh -huh. uh, do you remember the present continuous? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Romeo? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. With Ayun G. With ING, yes, something that is yeah. happening right now, right? So, but we're going to use in the present passive voice also. Okay, look at this. Uh, let me see. Let me uh, let me know if you hear the the audio. 
Unit 7. The World We Live In. Page 44, Exercise 2. Perspectives. Are you able to listen? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. Clean up our city. Part A. Listen to an announcement from an election campaign. What kinds of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? Vote for Roberta Chang, City Council. Roberta Chang will clean up Cradville. Have you noticed these problems in our city? The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters because of overcrowding. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Our fresh water supply is being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve. A vote for Roberta Chang is a vote for solutions. Okay, so let me see if I have. Okay. Okay, so the and what's the, and what is she promising? What is she offering? And what are the problems that they have? First of all, what are the problems they have? Uh, Sophia, uh, uh, Sophie, no, you, you already participated. Gabriel Hernan, what problems do they have? Hi, teacher. Hello, uh, Gabriel. Uh, uh, what problem is uh, the the basura? Uh huh. The garbage, the trash. Okay, good. Okay, another comment about it. The air is being polluted by fumer for car and truck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, uh, uh, homeless have been displaced from uh, all uh, the conditions the... of the streets. Aha, uh -huh. the condition of the streets. Yes. Well, this city that Roberta Chen is. Uh, is uh, going for an election, so it has a lot of problems like our city. But uh, look at the, at the sentences over there. So the air is being polluted by phones from cars and trucks. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. And see, our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. What forms are this one? Well, let me see that this is giving you examples of the uh, uh, forms that we are going to see immediately. Okay, so, and will you vote for Roberta? Yes. <laughs> it isn't do. It isn't do. Yes. Uh, does he, does she sound very convinced about it? That she can do something? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we know we're not going to discuss that, but uh, everything is possible. Maybe. Okay, guys. So. Uh, let me, the, the, the question over there, the question over there, which of these problems affect our city? I think all of these problems. <laughs> all of these problems, yes. Yes, exactly. All of the problems affect our city. Yeah, it's uh, the world is the world we live, right? Especially right now, if you see the, the heating of the world, so it's it's getting worse. 
And that's why you, you know we have bad news about it. Okay, the passive with preposition. Learning objective. Hey guys, uh, uh, please turn on your cameras because uh, that that's that that's the way that uh, it should be, and I can see you. Maybe I cannot see everybody at the same time, but I can see you. Okay. So what is the what is the learning object, uh, Jenny Carolina? The, the learning the learning objective. Use the present continuous passive and the present perfect passive to describe problems. Ah, exactly. Use by, because of, due to, to, mm -hmm. and as a result of the to describe causes. Yes. Okay, we're going to start with the present continuous as passive and the present perfect uh, passive as well. Okay, so let's see the, the grammar chart over there and see how it is. Okay, let's listen about it. Page 45, exercise three, grammar focus. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. Present perfect passive. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, I will try to stop uh, the the audio after each sentence, and without turning on the microphone, uh, could you please uh, uh, repeat the sentence? Okay, after I pa I will pause the audio, the audio. Okay, uh, I hope that I do it right, and we don't have a problem with the presentation. Page forty five, exercise three, grammar focus. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Everybody, without turning on the microphone. The air the is, the being, air is polluted being polluted by, by fumes from, from cars and trucks. Okay. So uh, I am looking you through the camera. So I'm looking you if you do it. So and uh, right now, so please do not turn on the microphone, okay? Why am I asking you to reread or to repeat the sentence? Because uh, your English is good, guys. Well done, very good. I hope that I can help you more getting uh, improve your language over there. Because every time that you say something, you get the 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 the, the, the the language, uh, because when you speak, you can hear yourself. Okay, ready for the second? City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Everybody? City streets, streets are, are being, being damaged, damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Good, excellent. Ready for the next one, present perfect passive. Oh, well, wow, well, we already, let's listen and, and we go over. Okay, and here, so if I try again, so we will lose more time. It's, okay, and here we're looking at the present continuous and the uh, uh, as passive. Look at the sentence over there. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. It's the same sentence that we have on the, on the perspective. The city streets are being damaged as a result of the heavy traffic. The, uh, okay, I'll explain that in, in, in the next uh, slide. Present perfect passive. The roads have been, okay, jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through 
overbuilding. By the way, what is overbuilding? Overconstruction. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, like El Salvador has that. Uh, San Salvador is overbuilding. Okay. So we don't need to, we cannot continue building to the size per se in something because it's not possible. We need to uh, continue building up, unfortunately. Okay. And homeless had been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. What is homeless? People who have a house. Yes. A house with a home. House. Yes, people who have People who no, live on the street too. Uh, people who live on the street, people who does not have a house, okay. Let's see if I can, Mr. Lopez is able to explain that. The present continuous passive. Look at the sentence. We have the first part, second part, and the third part. Who can read the first sentence? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Julio. Our fresh water supply is being contaminated. Contaminated, yes, contaminated. And who can read number two? Me, teacher. Can help me. Yes. Uh, go ahead, Roman. Okay. okay. And then you. Okay, no, no, now our city's streets are being damaged. Mm hmm. And, and the last one. And the, the last road. one. Okay. The roads yeah. are being repaired. Okay. The last one is being repaired. So what do we have over there? Let's see if I, I guess I put it over there. Okay. So how do we have, look, I was going to say the sentence, uh, the first part of the sentence is that That subject, subject, yes. They even remember that even though we don't have a, this one is the subject. The second part of the sentence is the the verb with ing and the verb with ing, but we use b and the and the and and it's two forms. Okay, uh, well you know b has three forms. I means are. But in this is in the very ing. Look, and, and the uh, last part of the sentence is that? Adjective. Okay, the adjective, it could be possible also. But uh, another possible answer? The complement. The complement, yes. Ah, good. That, that was uh, nowadays. Remember that in our school, uh, people used to say, ah, the the comp and the complement. Now we say the rest. Okay, good. So, but it's the 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 term for the term form of the verb. What is the term form of the verb? Verb three. Past past past. Uh, past participle. Yes, past participle. Look over there. Okay. So we have the subject as you said, then plus is or are plus the ing plus the past participle of the verb. That's the present continuous passive. Okay, so please uh, write it down. Take a note over there. Yeah, uh, and remember, whenever you want, you can watch the video as well. I hope that we still uh, still. Uh, making the video. And there is, oh. How do we form the present continuous passive? Using the subject plus is or are plus being plus past participle. That's the way.
And, um, uh, and something really important that the present continue, what does the present continue describe? Even though it's the passive. What does the present continuous describe? Let's see, let's think about the simple present continuous. What does an it action, an action which is uh, is still doing? Yes, an action. Thank you, Xiomara. An action that is still doing, or an action that happening at the moment, or an action with a, a period or or, or um, the start in the past, but it still continues in the in the present and will continue in the in the in the future okay so yes exactly describes an action uh, that is uh, in progress right now so for example too many trees are being cut down right now these days so you can say time expressions you can say right now these days nowadays it, it doesn't matter so too many trees are being cut down uh, these days, too many trees are being cut down nowadays. Okay, so that's the thing over there. Please take notes. Uh, you can watch the video and take notes over there, but I why to wait until there. Remember, help me with your cameras. If you have an issue with cameras, please let me know because I've been the man. <laughs> okay, guys, continue. Or, oh, I see that some of you are taking notes. Um, what I learned with uh, international experts that taking notes is really helpful, okay? Because you refresh um, and you remember what you write or you wrote. So many people maybe don't believe, but uh, the notebook and the pen and the pencil are a great tool of learning a language or learning anything. Ah, okay, good, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, ready guys, continue. Yeah, it's this on. Continue, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, so the present perfect passive. This is what are the sentences that we have over there. What is the word order of this form? Usually, even though, even though, or, or most of the time, for not saying always, um, the word order in English is almost the same, even though we're using high English, like we are using right now. Your English is really good, it's really advanced. I, I hope that I can hear, I can talk to every one of you guys. So, uh, is, you see? We always start with the subject, 
not in Spanish. In Spanish, we can omit subjects, but not in English. Even though the uh, the forms the, or the level that we are using, it's 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 height. So we still have subject plus have or have plus be. I mean, subject plus has. When do I use has? With what subjects? Third person. Third person. Third person. Third person. Yes, yeah, she has. He has. Uh, so Susana has, Manuel has, and the rest is with have. So plus B plus the past participle of the verb. It's simple, okay? That's why, well, actually we don't memorize the the, the verse. Uh, you, we learn the, the, the forms and the things by using it, okay? So too many trees have been, look, it's almost the same as the, the ones that we read. Too many trees have been cut down recently in the few years. There you have. What is the subject? Too many trees. Too many trees. Uh, and then? Have, have been, been cut down. Have cut been down. cut down, yes. The past participle look at it's cut, right? So it's the same form as the, as the simple present, as the simple uh, uh, simple past. Uh, actually, I shouldn't be saying that. I should be saying, and you're familiar with verb one, verb two, and verb three. And then the time expression. Recently, in the few years, mm, I don't recall if uh, we can use another time expression over there. Can someone uh, recall one? Recently, in the few years, for a long time, yes, too many trees have been cut down for a long time. Mm -hmm. That's another one for, for a long time. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, can we say nowadays? Uh, nowadays, yes. Uh huh. Can we, it, it can apply also over there. Uh, don't copy the, the sentences on the chart, just write down the, the word order. What is the word order of this form? I mean, when I say of this form, is the present perfect passive. So, and just copy um, uh, subject plus have, has plus uh, been and the past participle and the example over there. Oh, let me, the attendance, meanwhile, you, I guess you're going to work on the other one. Let me, you still uh, looking at the, at the presentation? Or you look in Google? The presentation. Ah, the presentation, good, excellent. It's because I forgot to get on the list, <laughs> sorry. Uh, remember to say present. Uh, eh, Ana Ivania. An present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oh. 
And Daniel Alejandro, Janes. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, Edgar Fernando Portillo. Edgar, Fernando, eh, Eduardo José Melgar, uh, Melgar. Present teacher. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Present, mister. Yes. Uh, Gabriel José Hernández López. Present teacher. Yes. Eh, Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. Giovanni. I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. I put your accent. Uh, I already fixed it. Thank you. Uh, Hector Ivan Perez Martinez. Present, teacher. Uh, Ivan uh, Ibrahim Ramirez Quijano. Present, teacher. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present, teacher. Uh, Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present teacher. Eh, José Lino Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. Eh, Julio César Campos Yada. Present teacher. Eh, Carla eh, Selena Hernández Guevara. Good. Eh, Carla. Uh, Carla Present Renée. teacher. Okay, Carla René Delgado. Present teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa Rodríguez. Present teacher. Uh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present teacher. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present teacher. Uh, Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquía. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Eh, Neptalia Antonio Mejía Miranda. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Santana Reyes. Eh, Oscar Odulio Amador. Present teacher. Eh, Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Rebeca, are you there? Eh, Romeo Vladimir. Present. Rosales. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Present. Okay, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present teacher. Good, Good attendance. Thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, finish with this one. We're almost time. Okay. Oops, sorry. Let me... Okay. Uh, any question, any doubts, uh, uh, girls and boys? Boy, he want to... Any questions, any doubts? No, Mr. Lopez, everything is clear. Yeah, just, okay. Just is, is there a way that we can practice the, the audios that you use? In? within the class ah the audios okay ah. i'll i'll share it with you I, I guess um i need to make the whatsapp group and i will be sharing yes of course okay they are for you i mean so i'll i'll share it with you 
everything or the conversation and everything. Thank you for asking that. That's, that's really important because uh, uh, you listen to the good thing of this one. And uh, you listen to, I guess, uh, Roberta. Uh, it's not American English. It's bridges. And uh, you, l you listen to people from different parts of the world. Okay. So, but uh, thank you for uh, asking and thank you for reminding. Okay. So here on this one, we're going to apply a little bit what we have learned. So there is no time because the time is over, okay? But uh, if it is possible for you, take a look to the sentences for tomorrow's class because we have other topics and we have to finish this one. So look at the, the first of all, you have to match the, as in your notebook or anything uh, uh, or, or something, uh, the sentence with the statements, okay? Then we need to rewrite the sentences. For example, the first sentence says, air pollution is treating the health of people in urban areas, okay? And then in parentheses, we have bite, okay? And then what is the example sentence? The health of people is in urban areas is being threatened by uh -huh. uh -huh. turn it okay so so this is the the things that we had to to maybe check in tomorrow but as you know tomorrow we'll we'll work on it and there's still time about it okay guys thank you very much for your great participation i'll see you tomorrow i have a great night okay be good bye bye Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. See you.